All right. Okay. What a show that was tonight at the Bell Center. A lot, a lot of good things happened. A lot of positive things have been shown by the young guys in Montreal. And it's going to be a really fun preseason, really fun first game. I had a lot of fun watching it. It was more fun watching this game than probably the entire season last year. And yeah, how are you guys doing? Tropical NHL here today for my first Habs review of the season. I'm going to make videos like this for every game during the season of the Montreal Canadiens. So it's my first video ever doing a face cam. Tell me how you like it. Is it better than NHL gameplay? Um, uh, let me know in the comments below. I tried to make it look good with the, the background and stuff. If you have any advices, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So I took some notes on my phone and we're going to talk about it. Um, yeah, a lot of things to talk about. A lot of good things happened during the game, even though the Canadians lost. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First player I wanted to talk about is Kirby Doc. I was really impressed from what I saw of Kirby Doc tonight. He was everywhere. Every time he touched the puck, uh, something happened. And he looks uh, a little bit more confident that, than when he was with the Chicago Blackhawks. I don't know if it's because he, he's more free to do what he wants offensively. But man, those passes, those little moves, he was in control every time he had the puck. He, he needs to work a little bit on his defense. It was kind of mad, but if he plays that good offensively, he won't get any trouble, in my opinion. Uh, he seemed to have built a really good chemistry in this game with uh, Rampant Lick, so it's going to be interesting if both guys can play together uh, sometimes during the season. But yeah, they played a really good game together uh, with Slavkovsky, but I'm going to get back at Slavkovsky later in the video. So yeah, Kirby Doc. Really good performance for him tonight. I'm giving him giving him a hey and nay, even though he took some penalties and he wasn't that good defensively. But yeah, I'm really impressed so far with Kirby Doc. Another player I wanted to talk about is Caden Gooley, because I was really impressed. I knew that quick Caden Gooley was gonna be good, but like I remember watching him uh last year at camp and he was really solid defensively, but man. That extra year in junior made him even better, man. He, he is now both good in offense and in defense. The guy was legit everywhere. And the pairing he was forming with Jordan Harris, Jordan Harris was really, really solid as well defensively. He struggled a little bit at the end of the game with the passes. Maybe it was the nervosity or uh, just like the pressure getting to him. But I'm sure he's going to do really fine playing on the right side. And Caden Gooley, man, he's better offensively than I thought he was going to be. I thought he was more of a shutdown defenseman but he skates really well and he has good high cue and um, he made a really really good offensive uh rush uh during the second period i think it was he made the pass it didn't go in but uh it it was one of the greatest play from a defenseman offensively i've seen seen in that game and yeah Caden Goulet, I, I can't wait to see more from the guy I think he's going to start the season in Montreal, uh, at least for the beginning of the year. And yeah, I think he's going to do fine with uh, Joel Edmondson being injured. I, I I think that it's just a lock for Caden Gooley to be in the lineup at the beginning of the season. So, and, and yeah, let's get back to Uri Sofkovsky. Uri Sofkovsky played a solid game. Um, I thought he was more of a sniper, but he looks like a really, really good playmaker. He made a lot of great passes, a lot of great plays. He was good on the four check. He was everywhere on the ice when he was on the ice. Uh, he took a, a dumb penalty, but let's be honest, Nico Dawes kind of, kind of, kind of went into it. But yeah, uh, Slavkovsky, really decent game. Nothing special, but. Uh, he, like I said, he's going to get better as time passes, so expect him to be better next game he plays, but really, really solid game for Uri Sofkowski for his first game in the National Hockey League. Uh, he could have legit have an assist or two during this game if uh, the chemistry was more there. I don't, I don't feel like he's the right fit to play with Doc and Pitlick, maybe try another combination next game, but it's going to be interesting watching Slavkovsky playing during this preseason. Uh, I've talked about Harris. Harris played really good. Goulet played really good, but man, Justin Barron, man. Justin Barron, I, I, I've hyped... 
I've hyped up Justin Barron so much during the summer, man. I was hyped. I made a lot of videos talking about Justin Barron and how I, I think he's going to be the best defenseman, uh, the pro, the best defensive prospect on the Canadians. And man, he's, he, he looks rusty. He looks rusty. He doesn't look confident. He, he's, he looks shaky. He's hesitating too much but before making the plays. And yeah, he looked rusty again tonight. Uh, I've said it uh, during rookie camp. I've said it uh, during the scrimmage games. Even though he looked a bit better in the scrimmage games. But yeah, uh, tonight he looked rusty. So, so far I would be more comfortable starting the season with Jordan Harris playing on the rat right than Justin Barron. But still, he is, since he got just got back from an injury, I'll give him a chance and wait. Uh, maybe he's going to adjust during the preseason. I mean, preseason season is there for that purpose. So yeah, uh, he needs to adjust, but I'm sure he will. And if he doesn't, he'll just start the season in Laval and he'll get his confidence back. That's for sure. Let's talk about the goaltenders a little bit before getting back into the forwards because there's still a lot uh, of things to tell about the forwards. But yeah, uh, Jake Allen played an amazing first half of game. Uh, that when, when the time... The time he was in net, he was doing really, really good. Uh, he looked solid, confident, calm. And for him to get in net and get that kind of performance back into uh, the preseason, it's it's really big for him. He, he's going to get uh, the confidence he needs to start the season. And yeah, nothing wrong with Jake Allen, A+. Uh, but Caden Primo, man. Uh, I'm still not sure about Caden Primo. You guys know how I, how I feel about Caden Primo? Every time I talk about it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but he's still young. I'll give him a chance. He's going to play in Laval this year. Maybe he's going to get better. But every time he plays in the NHL, man, it's just the little mistakes, the little details. Like the second goal, the, the devil scores, scored. It's, it's like that every time he plays. And those little goals, those little garbage goals, um, they, 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 they need to not go in. And... The Canadians lost the game because of that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Kaden Primo, I'm not sure about him becoming the first and future first goaltender of the Canadians. He played good in the AHL. I'll give him the benefits of the doubt. He's going to play an, ex uh, an entire season as a first in the AHL. And we will see next year uh, when he comes up at training camp. So, yeah. Still not sure about Kaden Primo. But he's still young, so... Guess we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. Uh, Owen Beck, man. Owen Beck. Uh, so far, he is the prospect from the uh, 2022 NHL entry draft uh, of the Canadian that's been impressing me the most. He, he is everywhere. He's winning face-offs. He, he was like 68% tonight on face-offs playing against NHL guys. Uh, that, that's really good. That's really, really good. He played amazing. He was able to follow the plays of Mike Offman, and Cole Caulfield. Uh, he made some really good passes, some really good plays. He was there defensively. Uh, he was good on the rush. He, he was good on the four check. He even hit the post. He could have scored a goal. He could have even gotten an assist. And he was legit the best prospect on the team again. And I can't believe we drafted that guy in the second round. It's basically a third first round pick for the Canadians at this point. The guy is going to play in the NHL, that's for sure, and he's going to be amazing. He's not going to play this year. Send him back an extra year in junior, like they did back then with Thomas Plekanec. He reminds me a lot of Plekanec. And uh, yeah, an extra year in junior. Maybe he's going to he's going to find a spot on the team next year. Maybe he play in the World Junior uh, this winter. And it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of fun following how he develops uh, with the Canadians. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun following Owen Beck this year. Mike Hoffman, we talked about Beck. He played with Hoffman. Mike Hoffman had an amazing game. I've been shitting on him all summer long, saying that the Canadians need to trade him, trade the guy. He's the extra forward. We don't need him. Trade him for a bag of pucks. He played an amazing game, and if he's going to play like that the entire year. I have nothing against playing him on the first line with Suzuki and Caulfield. If he's going to play like that, the guy was 
everywhere. He was forechecking, he was backing. It was my the first time I've seen Hoffman play like that with the Canadians. He was everywhere, and if he's going to play like that, I have nothing against playing him on the first line. And if you're going to play like that every time I shit talk you, I'm going to continue to shit talk you, so please can't you trade Mike Hoffman, all right? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And the other guy on the line was Cole Caulfield, and Cole Caulfield looked amazing offensively. He's not the guy you're going to ask to, to play defense. Uh, he was meh on defense, made some turnovers, but when you have a guy that scores some goals like Cole Caulfield, you don't complain about the, the turnovers. Uh, it's going to happen, but he's going to score some goals, and he scored an amazing one. Uh, a, a laser, a laser. It was an amazing shot coming from Cole Caulfield, man. I was like, bro, what? How did that went in? Uh, there weren't a lot of space in, in the net, and he just picked the top corner one-timer, uh, the release was so fast, he looked like Tovechkin uh, out there, and yet it was really amazing watching Cole Caulfield play tonight. He was really good offensively, moving like Patrick Kane and shooting like Ovechkin. This guy's going to be amazing, and he's going to have a huge year. It's going to be insane watching him with Suzuki. And the latest player I wanted to talk about, uh, the guy that's been impressing me the most tonight is Michael Matheson, man. Michael Matheson. He said it uh, a lot of times this summer. That he was going to have a lot of more opportunities playing in Montreal. A lot of more space since he's going to be like the top guy on defense. And he, he won't be behind Christopher Letang. And tonight he showed it. He showed it really well. Uh, the guy was everywhere. Playing defensively. Playing offensively. He had some, some good scoring chances. He made some good pass. He, he back-checked really well. He was solid on defense. The guy was the best player on the ice tonight. Uh, legit, he was the best player on the ice tonight. And if he's going to play like that the entire year, he's going to make us forget about Jeff Petrie really fast because he can bring some offense and he's really solid defensively. So A++++ A, A plus 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 for Michael Madison tonight. And I can't wait to see more from him. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about what I said. Let me know your opinions about the games, about the players. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow for uh, some new videos talking about the Canadians. And we're going to make some Habs reviews uh, every day, uh, every game. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next game, I can't wait to see. Probably our Berger Kai is going to play. Uh, Dodonov's going to play. It's going to be really interesting to watch. So yeah, it's been your boy, Tropical NHL. And I'll see y'all later for another video. Bye-bye.